Wake up, wake up, and dream again. Get up, get up, sing with me, my friend. Olivia believes in dreams. Noah lives his dreams. We are the dreamers, come along, you'll see. Wake up, wake up, and dream again. Get up, get up, sing with me, my friend. Our dreams are the world we live in. We create the dreams we believe in. We are the dreamers and we love to dream. Hi kids, from A to Z, from East to West, I'm Hannah! And welcome back to Dream Again! Today we're going to learn a big word, bioluminescence. Do you know what that is? Do you know what it means or what it does? It's time to ask Mikey. Nature often devises surprising solutions for hunting for food, warning predators, and even attracting mates. But perhaps one of the most magical looking of these solutions is bioluminescence. Or simply put, biochemical light created by a living creature. There are animals such as the anglerfish, deep sea shrimp, railroad worms, and even fireflies that make and use this glow for different reasons. Bioluminescence increases an animal's chances for survival. For example, the firefly. When it glows, it attracts a mate on a summer night, thereby able to reproduce itself. The railroad worm, however, glows to protect itself. It, for example, lights up its body with two colors, red and green, and therefore makes it less attractive for any predator to eat it because it looks spooky. The flashing light, in this case, keeps the worm safe. The deep sea shrimp spews a glowing cloud of goo when it feels threatened and thereby distracts the predator and it finds a way to safety. Who doesn't want to run away when you're being puked on? Ew. But what also happens is that the puke then gets stuck on the predator and that attracts even greater predators to eat them. The anglerfish has a glowing stick that attracts another animal and once it gets close to the anglerfish, all the fish needs to do is open wide and it's lunchtime. What's the most special about bioluminescence is that unlike the sun or light bulb, it doesn't get hot at all. What's even more interesting is that scientists are trying to figure out a way that trees can create bioluminescence. This way, no human powered light is needed we'd save so much energy and help out our planet. And that would be great and would help our planet live much longer. Wow, kids, that's amazing. Can you imagine trees that glow in the dark? That's pretty cool. And did you know that we can actually create bioluminescence? For that, kids, we're going to check in with our two scientists, Noah and Olivia, and see what they're doing. We're gonna make something glow Ooh, glow. In water. Yes! So, yeah, you tell them. Okay, wait, I'll ask you. Do you know why we're making it glow in water? No. Because we're talking about the ocean. Oh, of course! <laughs> yeah. Kids, you knew that, right? Mm -hmm. Because you were paying attention and I yeah. wasn't paying attention. Because the ocean is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of water. Very, very dark. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take some tonic water. Regular water would technically work, but tonic water will glow better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In order, so, sorry, kids, in order for you to understand why tonic water glows better, okay. check out our other episode because we explained that in that one. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. But so today we're gonna take some tonic water that's right there, and then we're gonna pour it into those two test tubes. And then in the test tubes, we're also going to add a little bit of zinc sulfide, which also glows. And then we're going to shake it up with our black light. Yes. And it will glow just like bioluminescence in the ocean. Wow. Whoa. Can we start? Yes, let's start. Do I need to turn off the lights again? Um, not yet. Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. So let's recap. What we want for this experiment is a cup of tonic water, and then we're gonna use two test tubes with lids. And we're going to use some zinc sulfide powder.
powder. So. Which is glow in the dark powder. Yeah, glow in the dark powder. Okay, do you want me to put it in the tonic water? Yes, into will you the please? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can do that. Yep. Fill it all up? Uh, just do, yeah, just do half and half or whatever. Half? As half. much as we can get in there. Um, oh, yeah, you can put a little more in the first one. Is that good? That's perfect. Okay, we don't need the water anymore, so I'll put okay. that to the side. And then, we're going to take a little bit of the zinc sulfide. I'm just using the end of the spoon because it'll fit into the test tube easier. And we just drop it in there. Okay, and now... We put on the caps, right? Yep, put on the cap. And... All right. So after we put those together, then we shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake, 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 shake. We shook them up with the lid done real tight. And now, oh, no. I should turn off the light, shouldn't I? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So while he's turning off the lights, I'll show you this is the black light we're going to use to shine on the fluid we just made. Ooh. And the black light will make it glow. It shows the bioluminescence. Okay, let's wait for Noah to get back. Okay, I'm back again. Whew. And look. Oh, safety oh. glasses. Oh, safety glasses. I got my glasses on. I got mine on too. Okay. Now, what, what, what are we seeing? So, inside these tubes, we are seeing the quinine, which is a thing that's in the tonic water. Yes. Mixed with the zinc sulfide. And that makes it glow. And that makes it glow. It makes it wow. luminescent. There's it's mine. So cool. And ooh. And this yours. is how animals glow in the deep, dark blue ocean. Yep. I got to say, that's really interesting. Now, what else could we invent to help us save energy? and therefore make the planet live longer. Hmm. What if we create bioluminescent light in our house? Okay, maybe not the best of ideas. Hmm. Um, what about creating a bioluminescent house where I can grow plants? Hmm. Okay, the light isn't strong enough. Well, I guess I need to brainstorm some more ideas. That's it for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed learning about bioluminescence and how animals use that light for different reasons. And kids, don't stop glowing with new ideas you might have. Bye! If you like what you see on Dream Again, be sure to hit the subscribe button and like us.